Hey, what's up guys? In this video, I'm going to be walking you through what I do when I have a fresh Windows installation. And this is basically optimizing your PC for music production in Windows 10. Um, this will apply to people, especially if they have a sound card, um, an external device, an interface, things like that. And, uh, you know, there's just things that you have to uh, kind of do uh, just to avoid headaches. And this comes from experience and research and things like that. So the first thing you do is you get the latest drivers, you install the latest drivers, the latest bio, all the, all the fun things that you do. Um, the onboard uh, memory, no, onboard audio, I should say, those drivers, everything like that. Windows up, updates, Windows Defender updates, all those things. And then you install your uh, music audio interface. You do that at the end. And you need to, let me just open this up here. You need to basically have something that, you know, has the information of your sample rate. So what happens, and I find this um, with sound cards, like Windows can get confused with the sample rate. It's not sure what sample rate to play. It'll just kind of guess. And Chrome is especially bad for this. It'll switch from 44.1 to 48K. So how I mitigate this is I go into my sounds down here, right click on the little speaker icon, sounds, boom, I go to playback. And let's say this is your uh, onboard audio, Realtek, digital output, all these things, uh, Realtek speakers. I want you to go into properties, well, I have to turn on, go to properties, advanced, 44.1 or whatever sample rate you choose. Pick a sample rate and have everything set to that sample rate. So uh, yeah, just go through them. Right click properties, advanced, uh, every, make sure everything's 44.1. Speakers, Sapphire Audio, this is uh, exclusive, well not, this is, you're not gonna necessarily have a Sapphire card, but yeah, make sure it's 44.1. Open the uh, mix control of your particular interface. Uh, I have a Pro 40, you may have one, you may not have one. Um, um, resort to your documentation, uh, 44.1 over here. Um, have it set to 44.1, all useful, and then make sure everything is set to 44.1. Even check the the uh, MIDI output uh, speakers in my Rode Podcaster. I don't really need that, but I have it on 44.1. Um, if you don't need a thing, you can uh, right-click and disable, which I've done here as well. Uh, so say the microphone here is my road. This is what I'm talking into right now. Uh, advanced 44.1. And uh, the, uh, you know, Logitech microphone I just disabled. But before I did that, I set it to 44.1 as well. Stereo mix, make sure, just make sure everything's 44.1. Or whatever uh, uh, sample rate you choose. Uh, bit depth doesn't really matter. So uh, there we go. And this will prevent weird things from happening and uh you know sample things cutting out or yeah, like audio cutting out because of sample rate it's a pain and uh this is the order that kind of you know prevents that from happening so sound is taken care of let's uh dive in a little bit more so we need to go into our power settings so in the bottom right here the little windows logo start menu right click on that go to power options and then you get this little toys r us uh, screen here. You want to go over to uh, additional power settings. Let's close that. And uh, you want to have it set to high performance and then change plan settings. I have mine set to uh, put computers to sleep never, uh, just so, you know, reasons. Um, I do turn it off when I'm not using it. I'm very green in my orientation. So let's uh, change advanced power settings. This is uh, very important. So I have uh, turn off hard disk after never. So, uh, if you have a spinning hard drive and you have stuff on it and you want to play a sound in Ableton, it'll have to speed up and then the, the thing will have to seek. So just have that set to zero. Um, what else is there? Sleep. Sleep after never. Allow hybrid sleep off. Hibernate after never. Allow wake timer enabled. Yeah. Uh, this one's also important. USB settings. USB select with suspend setting. Have that to disabled. Um, PCI Express uh, link state power management. It's a good idea to have that off. And then uh, processor power management. Minimum processor state, 100. And maximum processor state, 100. 
This prevents the clock of the CPU from dynamically changing depending on the load. This can cause dropouts, um, but uh, you know, use your use your best judgment. Um, you can you can have that on or off. You can also go into the BIOS and disable something called C states. I'll let you write that down, and that will prevent uh, the um, the. Uh, uh, I'll just show you right here the um, the speed from fluctuating down up to you know what I mean like the things like that which can cause some issues. All right, uh, and what else? Uh, yeah, that's basically that's basically it. I'll hit OK. Oh, another thing I forgot is you want to go back into sound down here, sound, and uh, you want your Windows sounds just right. Get, or click on the sound scheme and go no sounds very important uh, okay so this one's a little bit tricky you want to right click on the the uh, windows logo here and then go to system and then again you get this toys rest thing you want to go to system info related settings up here close that this is more of a classic uh, you know whatever you're looking at you want to go to advanced system settings and uh, let's go to uh, yeah, performance, uh, the advanced tab, performance settings. And uh, we can um, adjust the, the visual effects depending on your the beefiness of your computer. You might not want like these cool animations to occur. You can uh, adjust for best performance. And I did this for a while. I wanted my computer to be a tool. And, you know, I didn't want anything flashy, but then, you know, I just, you know, let it choose it doesn't really affect anything anymore. This was an issue in Windows 7. You turn it off in Windows 8.1, but you know we're in the we're in the butter zone. So yeah, go over to Advanced, and then this one's also really uh, really good. Uh, we want to go to Background Services um, if you want um, the priority to be Background Services, which would be a sound card. Right? It's a Background Service. Um, it will uh, it will adjust uh, the priority for that. Um, I have it set to programs for now. Yeah, I'll just set to background services. doesn't matter. And then um, hit apply. Um, what else should you need to do? Oh, okay. So here's something that um, getting a little bit advanced, but this can, um, this can save your life. You want to right click on the Windows icon down here and go to device manager. And uh, yeah, you can see, you know, that yours is going to look very much different than mine, but let's just make this a little bit bigger. We want to optimize the USB ports. And how we do that is we go to storage controllers, right? You right click. Is that true? No. Nope. What do we do? Uh, let me remember what I did here. We go USB info. No, that's not it. Hold on. Don't leave me. Don't you forget about me. Uh, sound video and game controllers, is that it? Oh, sorry, right down at the bottom here. I'm, I'm being silly. I was looking for USB up here in my brain. So Universal Serial Bus controllers down here. Uh, I want you to go through each of these and uh, right, right, right click. So this is the ASUS Media, the ASUS Media, Media USB Root Hub. Right click, Properties, Power Management. And then uncheck, allow the computer to turn off this device to save power. Uncheck for all of these, right? You want, you don't want, you don't want things to be turning off and stuff like that for device. You'll lose your device. Things will happen. Things are weird. And uh, yeah, that is uh, that. Um, if you're still having issues, you know, you can always increase this, the, the the um, um, the uh, settings, the ASIO buffer size, right? Two fifty six should be good. You can have that to uh, five twelve. Make sure it's it's power up two. Um, anything higher than uh, ten twenty four can be weird. It can cause some weird things to happen. Uh, but increase that if you're still getting issues. Um, you can also disable uh, FireWire network drivers uh, scanning. Uh, but if you know. This was such a problem years ago um, that is not so much anymore. Um, we had to disable uh, network cards and things like that. Um, what else? 
Uh, let me see. I guess, uh, I guess that's, uh, I guess that's everything. Um, I always make sure that, uh, my, uh, 13, this is in my case, I'm using FireWire, but a lot of people will still be using FireWire. I always make sure that it's the, the Texas Instruments based 1394 Windows continues to support this, even though the, uh, the, uh, the, the, the driver is from 2006, still works, still works pretty well. Um, what else? Yeah, that's basically it. Um, that's, and uh, don't worry about this. This is just my UAD card. I haven't installed the drivers for it yet. That's later on down the road. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you found it, uh, um, useful. Um, you know, setting up Windows 10 for the first time and getting everything all well and working. It can be a little bit tricky, but if you follow these things, um, it'll work out well. Anyway, hope you guys learned stuff. Hope you enjoyed. Take care and have a good one.